In today's video, we're going to talk about the new plants available in Twin Motion 2022. My name is Katarina, my garden is and I'll see you next. Welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. In today's video, it's all dedicated to Twin Motion. Um, more importantly, the new plants available in the Twin Motion version 2022.1. So, the last updates uh, are were really important in Twin Motion uh, 2022, mainly path tracing for a better read of more realistic lighting in your renderings and HDR sky domes. So I've done videos about these two items previously is in the YouTube channel. Okay, so check that out. Twin Motion has a lot of things going on for the for this year, and um, I think it's a really uh, safe bet if you want to start with a program that's really uh, budget friendly um, compared with other um, real uh, time renderings uh, available in the market, mainly Lumion. So you have a much lower investment in the software, and you have a lot of things going on. Okay, so uh, and if you if you never checked out, uh, Twin Motion has like this public uh, portal roadmap. Uh, thing going on so they tell you which uh, items are already available in the, the latest update and other things they are thinking about implementing in the program okay and it's really cool and plus you can vote or you can you know check out ideas or even suggest things but let's focus on vegetation because twin motion has a lot of things going on uh, but if you're an architect okay or if you it's a very um, game environment kind of thing okay and this you can check these things out uh, with the available models as well 3d models they are things that they are to create ambience or you have a lot of if, for example in nature items you have a lot of barks a lot of leaves dry leaves uh, stumps things like this to create the whole like forest environment and things like this not really so uh, specific for if you're a garden designer or a landscaper and really want to work with twin motion uh, but they are getting better okay it's getting there plus you can always purchase plants okay but today i want to focus in the new items so the latest you have the main library as you can see here so um don't forget you have the the context menu you have all this menu here you can import okay i'm not going to go through this right now i'm just going to show you in the library the in the library of models um what vegetation you they have available so you have the main uh, library of vegetation and that's the normal one you have the trees uh, grasses detailed grasses and uh, bushes so not a lot of new things here uh, in this uh, update okay what you have now in terms of novelty is in this update is the quickle quixel mega scan library available inside the twin motion and they did this really smartly because you have thousands of models you know more than half you're never going to use it because if you're a garden designer or a landscaper it's um, old architectural kind of elements or old sculptures probably not going to use it okay but you have other things like 3d plants that you might want to check it out but they did this really smart what we basically have here is thumbnails of what's available and every time you want to use them you need to download them to your computer so what i suggest is every time you see something you add your favorites with a little heart i'm going to show you next after you download them okay so it's easier for you to check it out as well um what you what you want because it's thousands of models and it can get a bit confusing sometimes so if you check this out like for example you have quixel megascan here you have a little heart here so if i press this um, is, is a plant that I already downloaded. It's in white now because I downloaded it in another computer. It didn't update here, but that's okay. Um, and you can see a little heart here. So every time I hear in my favorites, I'm going to see the plants I've downloaded previously. Okay. And this is much easier than to, uh, to check it out your, your, um, your library of uh, favorite vegetation. So you, but let's check it out uh, the quixel megascan very very quickly so you have 3d assets surfaces and decals decals is like adding textures to your walls and things like this some maybe something you're not going to use a lot really um, in terms of gardening um um to create a garden etc surfaces is textures so definitely explore that and we're going to do it in the latest video in the um, okay in the 
coming soon video and then you have 3d assets so as you can see you have historical stuff so uh, this is a, a lot of things to create ambience so very gaming kind of uh, thing you know um, but you know for sure uh, check it out sometimes you might uh, have something that you you want to use in a garden um, but as you can see here really things really specific so you have a lot of things here to explore again every time you see something that you think you might enjoy put a little heart because if not you're going to lose yourself here um i'm going to go to the 3d plants uh, last you know and uh, is because it's the one that's more interesting to us uh, but as you can see you have a lot of things really old okay and mainly they are old stuff not modern furniture and things like this so nothing that's really going to help you out if you're creating a modern kind of design inside uh, twin motion but you have here nature again um is things uh, to create an ambience you have mushrooms if you wanna if you wanna you have seabeds for example um and you have trees but again not all trees hold the whole tree okay you have some roots as you can see here so i'm not sure in a design and when you use this um you might want to use some dead branches in the floor but you know not really the kind of thing you're looking for so let's go all the way back so that's 3d assets surfaces is textures decals is like um textures that you can add for example to a surface or something like this um some you know to a to a wall something like this so not really important if you are our landscape architect so 3d plants is the one we want to check it out so as you can see here you have a few categories of 3d plants uh, some of them they are not really very complete but again this is probably not the plants that you really want not the gardening kind of plant okay this is more uh, um let's check it out uh, some of them more wild kind of planting um but you have some things you can use definitely um let's go in here and check it out this ornamental kale so as you can see here you have this ornamental kale you have this all these variations of this plant what you need to do if you want to use this uh, you need to download it to your computer okay so you download and you wait um this might take a little bit or not uh, it, normally it's fairly quick once you download it you um you clicked in the variations and it's going to show you all the variations of that item that you can use So it might take a while to download, but as you can see here, now I have here all these scale variations. And what you need to do if you want to use them, you just click and drop here to your model. Okay. So it's really good quality, really important thing. The Quixel Mega Scan plant models and all the other models they are really cool because they move they move with the wind and they grow as well with the growth setting inside twin motion okay so let's check that out quickly so you have here the growth setting and depending on the vegetation sometimes they grow just in size but it's pretty realistic if you want to give that sense of growing with the time your the vegetation in your garden okay uh, some of them they change with the seasons as you can see here a little bit um, not a lot actually in the case of the kale uh, some might change the flowering um, so it really depends on the on the species okay of what plant you 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 you're looking at but they are pretty good uh, in doing it a very realistic job with that so that's pretty cool and uh, that's a really important thing so because all the imported plants you're going to do uh, if you purchase a 3d model plant like we always suggest uh, with the, from max tree website for example or globe plants they they are static models okay so they're not going to move uh, but in here with the quixel mega scan um items you have all of them they move okay so you have bushes you have uh flowerless you have the uh, bay laurel 
Um, so they all the common names. I would love to them to have the Latin names. I think it will be easier. Um, sometimes they can uh, block a little bit. And you need to wait a little bit, you know, because if you only see two items, you probably need to wait a little bit. There is a couple of uh, categories. They don't have nothing at um, nothing showing. But um, but if you only see two things, just wait a little bit and let's see the bushes. So it's not going to be very easy to search something in here. So what I suggest is that you, if you want to use something like this, let's check it out. Let's put some water lily in the pool. So again, I press variation. I wait until it's creating the object with all the variations. Okay, so let's check this one out. Let's go and add it in the pool. It's quite big, but it's pretty cool. As you can see here and you can see it moving with the wind okay most of the shrubs as you can see the growth is really the growth in size but it's pretty cool in faking it when if you're doing an animation of the of the um, the garden throughout the years okay because the trees is the ones that they really change um not just in size but actually in the growth of that species of trees the plants things like shrubs things like this aquatic plants um mainly they do it by just growing them in size uh, but you know it can really get away with it you have quite a lot a few climbers which i like um not as much as that we like we want of course they are never enough uh but you know they have pretty cool items uh, again don't forget every time you see something you like even if you download it didn't download it but you want to check it out after press a little hard because it's gonna it's gonna be a pain after uh, if you want to go and search for it again um normally the categories they make sense uh, you know you know what a climber is but sometimes they have like I'll show you in a bit in here a little bit. You have garden plants and after you have shrubs and you have like flowering plants. So you can get a bit confusing. OK, um, let's check it out here. If you want a yucca, for example. Yeah, you can search by it. OK, so it shows you the yucca. This might be easier if you want to explore that way. I think the first time um you'll explore this um just go to the quixel mega scan library and do it all um you know just be a bit patient sometimes you blo it blocks a little bit uh, but as you can see here you have uh, let's go back to that climber i've downloaded yeah let's check it out. Uh, sometimes you can take a little bit to 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 download and in the in this case in the thumbnail i don't see much to be honest but it's pretty cool. Okay, you have different versions. It's just giving me an error now, the download, but you know, that's cool. So you just drag and drop. That's pretty cool. And it's interesting that in the growth setting, um, in the growth setting, the old ones that are the normal default library climbers, they don't change the growth, but the Quixel Megascan do. OK, so this is Quixel Megascan, all of this. OK, um, so let's check it out the flowering plants, for example, flower head. Uh, and you have quite a few of them here. Let's go into this um, three one. This is an Ar Armidia. Uh, plant so I would love to have the um, in Latin names um, but as you can see here you have quite a lot of uh, plants to play around with okay and you have the poppies uh, it's not going to be enough if you're a garden designer um, but it's it's uh, it's a good way to start okay especially if you're just starting out in real-time renderings in here you have already a, a good library to start with okay let's check it out let me just sometimes it blocks so don't forget this is still a preview 
so it's normal but it looks good you have you can change uh, in the tint of the the leaf as well if you if you want I will not do that but you know if that's something you want um, yeah but it looks good you can change here sorry I'm I thought I was changing here so don't forget every time you can't you can't um, you can't select the plant you're thinking in working like I did just now you just go there to the cinegraph and you 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 see you can change here the colors it changed the, it changes the whole plant so I'm gonna cancel that but it's pretty cool as you can see in the weather in the growth it just changes the size once more in here in the arm in this um, our media you it just changes the size um but no but it, it looks great anyway but as you can see here you have a quite a lot of plants in this flower again and this is flowering plants okay so that's why i um, flowering plants garden plant and then shrubs um herbs you have quite a lot of things that can get a bit confusing that's why you really need to make sure you use that heart so you, you know you can select plants you want to check it out later on you have some grasses as well uh, some fountain grass like this one i already previously downloaded and then you can see here you can see the change in growth when you when you when you're doing the growth setting um not so much in season like you do with the trees in twin motion that you can see them starting getting more autumn colors etc uh, but you know still cool let's check it out the shrubs sorry very quickly so you have forest it's always very gaming related the way they even uh, divide the, the in subcategories so they have for environments you know like a forest environment meadow a sandy urban this is very you know game focused but you can definitely use and more and more you can use this as if you're, if you're a garden designer or a landscape architect you can really start using twin motion to really show your designs okay especially because you can import things plants from 3d uh, the 3d warehouse like this one for example this is a model from the 3d warehouse very simple model really high quality and it does lovely work in twin motion okay so using pet tracing now and sky domes for a much more realistic kind of um lighting uh, for your twin motion uh plants um this is definitely a big big problem to invest your time and money um for this year 2022 so happy new year everyone i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you have any other questions regarding twin motion i'm going to do more videos on twin motion plus the update that's coming in our online course see you guys in the next